Papa Rich Fatherhood here. So I had an interesting conversation yesterday with one of my students concerning the breakup of their parents. And it was pretty heartbreaking because she actually believed that she was the reason for them breaking up. She said they were, sometimes that happens when you're working in a school. So anyway, I had a conversation with a student yesterday where she was just being really honest about what she was going through with the breakup of her parents. And she really believed uh, and believes that she was at fault for that because she would say that her parents had a lot of arguments. And many times she was the reason for their arguments. And what I tried to explain to her was that in actuality, what it probably was is that even if she heard uh, arguments about herself, it might have been other issues even before she was born. Many issues for the end of relationships basically come from the lack of communication or bad communication. But we got to grow from having bad communication, especially when it comes to our children. We don't want them believing that they're at fault for the reason for a breakup or a divorce, which also means it's probably good to actually get them into therapy as soon as possible. So we have to make sure that we have that conversation with our ch children that, look, you're not the reason for that breakup, okay? Sometimes relationships start on, on not a, a good note, but we have children, and the children end up coming into something that wasn't meant to be in the first place. Again, we need to make sure our children know that so they don't grow up thinking that they're the cause for the heartbreak or the anger in relationships. So parents, are you having conversations with your children after a breakup or divorce? Something to think about.